Hello and welcome to part 2 of this series. In this video we are going to take a look at the trailing target profit which is a very interesting concept so definitely stay tuned. So let's understand trailing target profit which enables you to participate in price rallies. Let's take a look at a simple example. You are buying the asset for 100 US dollar. We are also keeping track of the current maximum of the price. So in the beginning it is simply our buy level 100 US dollar. We are setting a target profit of 5%. So with the normal target profit, you would sell at 105 US dollar. The next column, the deviation line, which I will come to in some seconds, is activated as soon as the price is crossing above the current target profit, which is not the case yet. The last column is just summarizing what is happening in each row. Let's move on to the next row. The price is climbing to 104 US dollar. You have a new maximum price with that. But as you see, the TTP is still at 105 as we didn't cross the defined target profit level. Now in the next row, the price is actually crossing the target profit. And with that, the deviation line is activated. And this value is just the current maximum price times 99%. Why 99%? Because you need to define the deviation from the maximum price where you will close the position. I'm just taking a 1% deviation here, but you can take whatever deviation level you like. And this deviation line is a line which is moving with the current max price level with a distance of 1%. I will show you in a chart how this is looking like in some seconds. In the next row, you see that the price is dropping, but the TTP is not changing and stays at 103.95, which is simply the max times 0.99 here, same value. By the way, the TTP and the deviation line is the exact same. I just want to make this more clear that the deviation line needs to be activated first. So important to understand is the deviation line can only adjust to higher price levels, never to lower price levels. And it is climbing only when you have a new maximum price. So let's take a look at the next row. Now the price is climbing again to 110 and with that we have a new maximum. And with that we also have a new deviation line level here. Next row, the price is dropping, but here it is dropping below the current level of TTP or deviation line. And with that, the, the asset will be sold. To summarize and make it as simple as possible, as long as the price isn't crossing the defined target profit, there is no deviation line. So this is the case in the first two rows here. As soon as the price is crossing the defined target profit, the case here in this row, the deviation line is triggered and is only amending to higher levels whenever there is a new maximum, for instance here. And finally, the asset is sold when the price is dropping below the current deviation line. All right. So let's go over the concept visually. This article, which is also my main reference for the table, is very nicely explaining the concept and is also showing how it is working in this chart here. I will link the article in the video description, so shout out to Anastasia 3 commas. Unfortunately, I cannot make this slower. But what you see in the beginning is the situation where the target profit isn't hit yet. So you see we have a buy limit, green line and the fixed target profit. And now watch the chart. Price is rising, nothing is happening here. And now it is hit and we have a deviation line here. And the deviation line is moving with the max price here, right? And here you see that it is being hit when the price drops and then the asset is sold, right? Before we are starting with the coding part, important disclaimer, cryptocurrency and in specific automated trading is bearing a huge amount of risk and may result in a total loss of your invested capital. 
Cryptocurrencies are not regulated. Also, concepts shown in this video are not an investment advice. The video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Alright, let's get started. As you see, same code as I was using in the previous video. So this is simply printing out the current life price of Bitcoin. Now we need to do some amendments to this code here to implement our trailing target profit mechanism. But before that, we have to set up some initial variables. First one is the buy price. And I'm just taking a price which is near to the current life price here. So let's just take 19130 here. And we also set the max price to the buy price, same as in the table from the very beginning, right? And the target profit, TP, simply my buy price times the target profit level, which was 5% in the beginning. But for presentation reasons, I'm taking a lower number here, just to show you what is happening when the target profit is being hit, right? So I'm taking 0.1% here. So we won't see uh, movements of 5% within the next seconds, hopefully. All right, so with that, I have all my initial variables I need. And now we need to change this structure or rather um, extend this structure. So first of all, we need to keep track of the maximum price, right? And this is a simple thing. We can just take the life price and check if that's larger than my current max price. And if that's the case, we're just reassigning the max price to the life price. With that, we are keeping track of the max price. And if the max price is larger or equal to the target profits, we have our deviation line. And our deviation line is simply our max price times uh, 0.99. So I'm assuming a 1% deviation line here if you want to take 2%, it's uh, 0.98 and so on. So with that, we have our deviation line mechanism. Now we want to keep track of the current deviation line. The problem with that is in the beginning, as we went through the chart example, or also the table example, we don't have a deviation line, right? So the variable dev line is not defined in the beginning. I'm solving that with a try and accept statement here. So I want to try to print out the current def line. But if the current def line is not defined, I'm doing something else and we will do so in the exact statement. For now, if I have a deviation line defined or a def line variable defined, I just want to print out the current deviation line level. And what we also need to check here, if I have a deviation line, I need to check the selling condition. So if my life price is below my deviation line, I want to sell. Right, so we are just printing out sell here and break the loop, but in the real bot scenario, here you have to place a selling order. Now, what is happening if this block is running into an error, then this block is being executed. So we are printing out there is no dev line yet because we didn't hit the target profit yet. I also want to have some additional information. So for example, what is my current max? Current max price is my max price. And I also want to print out the target profit level. So this is of course not changing as explained in the beginning. This is static but just to show you how this is looking in the live data stream and then we can yeah, understand what is going on when running this live. And also I wanna split, or I wanna see when I have new data by simply separating the printouts with this, uh, I don't know, dashed or dotted line. So let's call the stream again. Let's execute that again and execute the loop and see what is happening. And this is quite interesting now. You see there is no dev line yet. Why is there no dev line? Let's understand that. There is no deviation line because we didn't hit the target profit yet. 
So you see the live price is even below our buy price. So the current max is our buy price. So the price didn't go over the buy price yet. So with that, it couldn't even hit the target profit as well. I let this run for some time, but I think we were not lucky hitting the target profit. So this is the current data. Uh, no, we didn't hit it yet. So let's fake a hit so that you see how this is looking like. Let's stop that for now. So what is our current buy price? So we, our live price is 19, one something, one zero zero. Let's take it like so. Yeah, let's restart the kernel. And let's see what we got. Okay, nice. Uh, you see, we have no dev line here. And now we were hitting the target profit. You see that our target profit is this here, right? So this remains unchanged because we only have one target profit, which is our buy price times the target profit level. But you see that we are getting a current dev line here because as you see, we're getting a new max price here. And with that, we are exceeding our target profit. And that's pretty nice to see now. The price is further rising. And with that, the max is further rising. And with that, you also see the deviation line is further rising. So you see, rising, rising. Now it's going back and this is very nice to see here. Now it's going back, but the deviation line is not going back because as I said in the beginning, the deviation line is never going back. It's only adapting to new price levels, right? So let's move further here. And now we see we have a new max here. And whenever we have a new max, the deviation line is adapting to new levels here, right? Maybe we are seeing a sell here later on, but you can test that for yourself. So I hope with this last example, I could make it clear and yeah, I hope this video was interesting for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.